Google form for attendance tracker. And I'm going to also include the QR code, show you how to do that very easy and how to use that in your classroom. I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks along the way on how I try to eliminate any mistakes the students may make or it was an honest mistake, intentional mistakes they may try to make checking in their friends and things like that. Hello, I am Mrs. P. Tarleton, all about technology, teaching, and treasures. So if that's something you're interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified each week when I upload new content. Let's dive in. So to help us with this everyday chore that we have to do, we're gonna head on over to Google Form, get a blank Google Form, this is going to free us up so that students can be checking themselves in. We can answer students' questions. We don't have to say, not now, not now, I gotta take attendance. First thing we wanna do is title this. Once you put the title here on the form, if you click up here to the name or the title of the form, if you just click there, it will give it the same name. Makes things easy. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to ask them what period do I have them? I'm a high school teacher. And I'm going to choose drop down so the students will only choose one. Right here, I'm going to make it required so I make sure that the students do answer that question. Add the next question for them. And I like to ask separate questions, one for first name, one for last name. Automatically changed it to short answer, make it required, add another question, last name. Automatically recognized again, it needed a short answer, make it required. The next question I like to have the students answer is just kind of check where they're at, how they're feeling. Are they ready to work? Are they feeling tired? Are they sick, upset, whatever? And you can add as many different options as you'd like. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily track these visually in your spreadsheet. Again, I'm going to make that required. So that's your basic Google form for attendance. And what I like to do, because sometimes students like to be sneaky and maybe check in for their friends, what I do is I go up here, go to settings. So go to responses. And I wanted to collect email addresses. That way, if a student does try to sign in for their friend, when you see the email address does not match up for the student that was checked in, you know there was a mistake made or an on purpose made for that matter. And if I'm gonna use this form, the same form every day over and over, I would wanna change this from limiting one to one response and allow multiple responses. I don't need a progress bar. It's really short. Don't need to shuffle the questions. You could give them a confirmation message. You can change it. This one says your response has been recorded. If you want to change it to something personal, you could edit here. Say good morning. I'm glad you're here and then save that. Now to send it to your students, you could either go up here, send, grab the link. I usually shorten the URL here copy it and paste it into any learning management system that you would like, or take this same link, we can get a QR code that we're gonna project in the classroom that the students will scan. So copy that link. We want the QR code generator for Google. It's right here. and control V, because we've already copied it, we'll paste it in. This is our QR code that students will scan so that they will be taken directly to our Google form. So now that your QR code is generated, you can do a screen capture here or go up to the top, copy the image, or you can download the image, copy your image, and you can paste it and share your image through whatever learning management system you want. Or what I like to do is open up a Google presentation, control V will paste your QR code and you can have that projected on your board. So when students come in, they can scan it. You can do a new one every day that will help to eliminate skewing the truth a little bit um, by our students. Or if you wanna use the same one, you can actually do something like this, tape it up by the door, they scan it as they walk in and that's how they check in 
for class. When your students scan the QR code, it will take them here. And remember, we're collecting email address. So the email address that's going to be collected, it asks for them to type in their email address as well. Choose what period they're in. First and last name. How are you feeling today? I'm ready to work. Notice right here it says, hello, I am glad you are here. That's where we had changed the response and it shows up right here after your students submit their response. So if you scan the QR code, it will take you to the sign in page as well. If you go down here and get this pencil, only you have the pencil because you are the creator of this form. You click on the pencil and it takes you into the editing of the Google form. And this is where you can get their responses. Click on responses. And if you scroll down, you can see right here, we've got three responses. You go right here to this little green present looking thing. This will take you to create a Google sheet. So we want to create a new spreadsheet because we haven't done that yet. And here we have our data. Notice over here on the left side, every single time I mimicked a student and I signed in as a student, it documented the time. So even if you didn't have your students choose what period they were in, you could actually tell what period they signed in during because you'll notice the time here. This is automatic. Students cannot change this here. Over here, this shows you how your students are feeling. What I like to do is color code this column, how the students are feeling. So if I click on column F, format, conditional formatting. If the text contains ready to work, I want it to turn green because I think that's a good color tells me they're ready to go. I want to add another rule. If the text says feeling tired, I want that to be yellow. So change it here to feeling tired where it says value or formula. And because these were multiple choices, these are the words that are going to show up for that. So let's change that to yellow. We're done. Notice it automatically changes it over here. And I want to add another rule for feeling sad or upset. So text contains feeling sad slash upset. And this one, I want to color code in red because those are the key ones that I'm going to really make sure I get by those students that are in the red zone, right? I want to check in with them. What's going on? Why are you upset? At least once during the period. Now, every time a student logs in and fills out the form, you're going to see it'll populate here on your spreadsheet what it is. So let me show you. Go back to my form. It automatically updates and notice it changed it red. This is going to be a quick, easy way for you to see how your class is doing. What I like to do is sort this column C, the one by period, sort sheet from A to Z. Notice it groups all period ones together, all periods two together, periods three together. The other thing that I like to do sometimes that's helpful is highlight all the rows for that day. You just drag over that. It will highlight all of them. And I like to do the fill color and change it alternating color. So maybe one day is green. Maybe the next day I leave blank. Next day is blue. And that kind of makes it really easy to see when the date changes. To go over here to this color palette and customize it a little bit. So you may choose an image here. These are all the themes that they have. If you want to upload your own, you may do that here. When you choose your image, it will change the whole theme, the whole color of your document. Now, the reason I don't use 
a QR code for every single student and they get to scan their QR code, it's going to be too easy for them to make a mistake, click on the wrong QR code, and then they'll also say, oops, I did it by mistake if they tried to log in their friends or... So I just don't do that. I do one QR code for the whole class. I usually leave it up. And what I do is I physically count how many bodies are in the class every day, glance back at my attendance sheet and see, do I have the same number? So thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. And look at this video and see how I do digital hall passes using Google Forms also. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified next week when I upload the Google Forms to track classroom behaviors. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.